And we always talked about internally that the way we wanted to succeed or grow was not by spending a lot of money on marketing, getting customers in, and then constantly doing that, was to delight our customers and have them use Miso like for the long term. And that really made us focus on the customer experience, building a great product. And that's what really got us to where we are. One of the things I really like to talk about with the marketing team is, for example, if you want to build a great brand, then it's not about building a great brand by spending money on advertising and conveying the message we want customers to hear. It's really about providing a great experience for our customers and having them tell their friends about how great of a service Miso is. And that's what we really focused on. Our company's mission is to build technology that makes everyday life for our customers offline better. And that's really what O2O is. It's online to offline. So what that means is like we have to build technology. We have to build mobile apps for our customers and our partners. We have to build systems uh, for quality control or just matching a customer with a great partner and impact how our customers get a service offline. And what's really difficult about that is you're not only building a technology service, you're building an offline service simultaneously. And to be able to do this well, you have to understand both sides really well. What we do at Miso is we make sure everybody at the company really pays attention to what the customer experience is like. Pretty much anybody who's worked at our company in the first month, they'll have dabbled a little bit into customer service or partner service. Um, and this is very important so that everybody at the company, no matter what field they're working in, understands what's happening offline, understands what our customers and partners are dealing with so that we can build a better technological service for them. The reason why we've been able to attract a lot of foreign investment is just because our results to date, our execution has been really impressive. In a very short period of time, we've done over 4 million bookings. We're operating at a well over $100 million yearly gross bookings run rate. We've accomplished a lot in a very short period of time. The second reason is because I think the space we're in is very exciting. It's, it's hard to imagine that in the future, there will not be a go-to service for booking services. When you want to order food delivery, when you want to hail a cab, when you need to order a product, when you need to order a TV, we all have go-to services, but when you need to find a cleaner, when you need to move your home, if you want to get something installed, who do you call? What service do you turn to? That's going to be Miso. And that vision that we're trying to build is very exciting and it's going to happen sooner or later. And we were very proud to be selected as Forbes, one of Forbes 100 to watch in Asia most recently. Um, there were over 900 companies that were nominated, but we were one of the 100 to be actually selected for this list. And in addition to that, FedEx, they selected four companies out of the 100 to be acknowledged. And we were one of the four companies as part of FedEx Small Business Grant Con. Test. FedEx and Miso are quite similar in the sense that FedEx uses a lot of technology and innovation to really make our lives offline better uh, with logistics and delivery. But Miso does the same thing. We build technology to make our lives offline better. Everything that we do, whether it's a home cleaning service or a moving service or a remodeling service, it's really about making the lives of our customers in the offline space better. And we believe that they've just acknowledged that we've been able to execute in an exciting market very well. And, and the vision that we're trying to bring to reality is something that everybody can be on board for. We all want to make our lives offline better in addition to our lives online. And that's really what Miso strives to do every day. And we're very proud to be acknowledged by both Forbes and FedEx for this. We're really excited about the space we're in because we think there's a huge amount of opportunity here. Currently, we're focused on making booking services as easy as buying products online in Korea, but we believe there's a huge opportunity to do this outside of Korea as well. That's why being selected by the FedEx Small Business Grant Contest is really helpful because as we try to expand to companies outside of Korea, we feel like this type of recognition and publicity will really help 
jumpstart this expansion for us. In addition, we're just in the lifestyle space in general. So that means in addition to services, there's just like unlimited potential as to what we could do in the future. So we as a company are really excited about the space we're in. Our company name Miso means smile in Korean. And that really represents what we're trying to do. We're just trying to bring our customers a better life offline. And we do that by building technology for them. And we feel like we're going to do that forever, lifespan of our company. So anything that you can imagine, um, we could possibly do in the future.